Good morning to you. Trust you are well. You're happy. You're joyful. You're full of peace today. <laughs> you're contending for what belongs to you. Contending uh, for what belongs to you means you are standing your ground. You're not giving up. You're not backing off. You believe it's yours. The promises of God are yes and amen. So, which means so be it and they belong to you. The promises of God belong to you. So this morning I want to just give you a very quick thing to think about your prayer life when you come to God and I'm speaking out of experience I'm praying about a few things that I would like answers for I would like to see things shift I would like things this is why we pray I'd like to see God intervene I want some miracles uh, some needs to be met in general I just want to have a good life isn't that what we all want <laughs> so when we come to God and we're praying you have to take stock of this because I realized I was sitting at my desk a while ago and I was looking out the window as I am now and I was bringing a certain need for somebody else. It wasn't for myself. It would affect me hugely when this breakthrough happens, but I was praying for somebody else and I realized I wasn't praying from a place of faith. I was sort of it, it's almost a kind of mentality or an attitude that we have when we come to God and oh God I feel sorry for myself so won't you feel sorry for me too and then answer my prayer which is the wrong way to go about it of course you can come to God and you can cry you can tell him how you really feel I'm not denying that but sometimes we fall into the trap and we think this is what our prayer life is all about and it's so much more than that so I stopped myself and I, I began to think, am I praying from a place of fear in reaction to what I already know in the natural? So I'm praying, I'm praying in response or not response. I'm praying in reaction to what I know in the natural, the hindrances, the need for breakthrough, the this and the that. And all those things determine how I come before God. Or am I coming to God and saying, God, this is the situation. I'm, I want to involve you in it because you're the only one who can do this. You're the only one who can answer this. You're the, you're the God of breakthrough. So I'm coming to you. I'm bringing the situation to your feet. But now, Lord, you speak. You tell me, how can I partner with you in my prayer life so that we're in agreement and heaven can move to get my, the answers to the prayer here to manifest? That's what our prayer life is meant to be about. And so um, I, I, I speak about this a lot. Ephesians chapter 2. I read from verse 4 because it's so nice. It says, but God, who is rich in mercy. Before that, it tells us how we all once, we were involved with the prince of power, the, the prince of the power of the air and darkness and all of that things and how God made us alive. Um, but God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love, I just, I just want to interrupt myself. Sometimes we come to him as those people who haven't been made alive yet in Christ. We're still dead in trespasses. This is how we come, our attitude. We've already been set free. We've been forgiven. We're, we're no longer dead in our trespasses and sins. We have the light of God. And so we come to God with that in mind. But God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That is your life hidden in Christ. In the heavenly places, you have a spiritual identity in Christ. In the heavenly places, you have authority, you have revelation that God wants to give to you. That's your position in Christ. Positionally, your life is in Christ. Positionally, you are seated, you have a seat in heavenly places. From where you pray with God's perspective and you pray with prayers of authority. You So we are no longer praying from a place of fear. We are not meant to. Praying from a place of fear. And daily we come to God and we, we put our, our, our needs and our 
you know, everything at his feet. And he loves it when we do that, but it's not good enough to stay there. There has to come a time where we bring our needs to God, where we say, God, I want to trust you with my whole heart. I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. And you know what that means, to lean on your own understanding, to try and figure it out yourself. This life in Christ with the Holy Spirit who helps us is amazing. It's powerful if we'll just live in it. <laughs> so we come to God and we say, here are the needs. But there comes a day where we say, God, I see now what you see. And it's not all the problems. It's not all the sickness. It's not all the lack. It's not all the stress. You have an answer for this. And I receive it from you by faith. And then we pray from our seats in the heavenly places in Christ. And we begin to speak the solution that God has shown us from that place, seat in the heavenly places. So I'm going to give you a couple of quotes quickly. I was looking through my prophetic life um, workbook, hearing from heaven, living your purpose on earth. We have to be hearing from heaven in order to live our purpose on earth. We live from the higher place. We live from the perspective of God. We live from a place where we see because we seated in Christ. We're not pacing up and down in the corridors of heaven. We seated in Christ. We play from we pray and play. We pray from a place of rest in him, knowing that God sees the answer to every single request and every single need that we have. So here's some some prayer quotes. The prayer closet is the battlefield of the church. E.M. Bounds. Prayer is where the action is. John Wesley. The action, the battleground, that is prayer. That It's all happening up there. Um, as air is the breath of life, so prayer is the breath of faith. David Yonggi Cho. So those are just a few quotes that I have there about prayer. Your, life, your prayer life is your breath of faith. It's not a breath of, uh, you know, fear. We come to God reacting to what we hear and then see in the natural. So we react to it fear that comes out of our mouths it's faith <laughs> because we've heard what God said so be encouraged to go and pray today from your seat in the heavenly places in Christ you've been authorized to decree and declare with God from that perspective have a fantastic day today